I'm Michelle and welcome to Cooking School. Today I'm going to teach Leah how to make a quick bread recipe. It's our classic sour cream banana bread made with tangy break stones or Knudsen sour cream. A touch of crunch from our planter's walnut pieces and of course bananas. So let's get cooking. So Leah, I've heard that you've always wanted to make quick breads. I have, but I never have. So you do make breads though, right? I do, I do. Okay, so but never a quick bread. Never. So what exactly is a quick bread? Good question. So a quick bread actually is one of our most popular and frequently searched recipes on the website. And a quick bread is a bread that doesn't require any kneading or rising. So like you make more of the traditional breads where you knead in the yeast and let it rise and then you knead it. This one, all the leavening is done by baking powder and baking soda. Let's get started and okay. I'm going to mash up my bananas and that's the main ingredient here, right? Okay. As, as bananas. So I'm gonna mash this with a fork, but what I'm also gonna do is have you get started on a couple of other things. So I want you to cream together the butter and the sugar. So okay. we have a quarter cup of butter if you want to add okay. that there. And then you're going to add in one cup of sugar. Okay, we've got this in a nice large bowl. So now I want you to take the electric mixer okay. and you're going to beat this together and we want to make sure it's nice and creamed. Okay. okay, good. So I'm going to mash together my bananas. So I'm just using a fork. Does it matter what bananas you use? Well, I like to use really ripe bananas. One of those ones where you look at it and you think, mm, do I throw them out or do I use them for something? Sure. They're perfect. <laughs> sure. Okay. Because I like that they have way more banana flavor. Okay. And they're actually easier to mash up. So what I'm going to have you do now is add in our two eggs, okay? Okay. So a great trick is to, I like breaking my eggs into a separate bowl before okay. adding it into the mixture. Okay? And why is that? Well, just in case you might break a shell into the bowl and you're not having to dig around. Okay. Or if there's any spots on the eggs or anything. Good. Looking good. And it's also good too when you have a recipe with lots of eggs and then you can kind of keep track of the number of eggs you're sure. putting in and count up your shells. Perfect. So we'll add that in and then I'm going to have you use electric mixer again and we're going to beat your eggs in to make it a nice creamy mixture. So next we're going to add in one cup of break stones or Knudsen sour cream. And why are we adding sour cream? Okay, well sour cream's great. It adds moisture to the bread's texture and it adds also a slight tang, which really makes this banana bread really special. Okay. And we're gonna mix that as well in with the mixer, okay? okay. Just till it's incorporated in. All right then, so I'm gonna get our dry ingredients together. So I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour here, and to that I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of Calumet baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to lightly mix this together, just making sure all the flour and leavening agents are mixed together. And then I'm gonna measure one cup of mashed bananas. And I'm using a dry measure here. Oops. Just a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna have you do is alternate the dry flour mixture and the mashed bananas into your liquid, okay? Okay. So let's start. How about you pick up the electric okay. mixer and I'm gonna just dump a little bit of the dry ingredients in. Okay. okay. Go ahead and start mixing in. Yeah. Keep moving your bowl around. There you go, good. Perfect, I'm gonna just spoon in some of the mashed banana. There you go. Okay. Just mix that in. Okay, let's add in some more. Now you can keep going. Okay. I think I think you can do it, right? <laughs> I think I can. Okay. <laughs> and the last one. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to stir in one cup of chopped planter's walnuts, okay? So if you okay. want to go ahead and stir them in. Great, and we'll just use it with a wooden spoon. So just nicely mix that in, get them all in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly spray a nine by five inch loaf pan with cooking spray. Okay. And I like just doing it over the sink. It's a little bit less of a mess. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All right. Good. Okay. And then let's pick it up. And if you want to pour it right in there. All right. Good. So we've been preheating the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for one hour or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Leah, this smells amazing. It looks fantastic. It does smell good. You know what, I love fresh baked banana bread because it's perfect for a breakfast treat or even a satisfying snack. Just be sure you wanna completely cool it before you slice it or before serving. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this today. I did, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. All right, let's cut a slice here for us. Sounds good. Okay. 
nice half for you. Well, oh, thank you. See, I like that because it's got the nice flex of banana in there and then the nice nuts coming through. Mm. That's good. Very good. It's nice and moist. Mm -hmm. For more quick, easy bread recipes, search keyword banana bread on craftfoods.com.